driven by succession plans and a strategy to shift the power balance in the volatile region of the Middle East, Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is busy with several taboo-breaking steps to forge ties with the Muslim world's most hated regime, Israel. Many ordinary citizens around the world would be surprised to understand that the quasi-alliance between the two regimes is not something new and trails back into the early years of the Saudi regime's foundation. Day by day, new documents and cogent evidence of the long record of Saudi-Israeli bonds emerge to the Muslim world's surprise. Letters, papers, documents, footage and voices buried in the sands of time are now exposed, manifesting how the so-called custodians of the two holy mosques betrayed the most important issue of the Muslim world, Palestine. I am Sultan Abdulaziz bin Abdulrahman Al Saud and I concede and acknowledge a thousand times to Sir Percy Cox, Delegate of Great Britain, that I have no objection to giving Palestine to the poor Jews or even non-Jews and I never ever violate Britain's demands. These few sentences are the essence of the Saudi regime's policy towards Israel since the foundation of the kingdom by King Abdulaziz. Although Abdulaziz guarantees Saudi Arabia's neutrality on the issue of Palestine, historical facts prove that such neutrality has gradually shifted towards standing behind Israel in almost every conflict between Israel and Muslim countries. King Faisal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud who ruled Saudi Arabia from 1964 to 1975, is credited by Saudi citizens and those familiar with Saudi political affairs with his pan-Islamist and pro-Palestine nationalist policies. His emotional and popular speech about Palestine and the Holy Mosque in Al-Quds is readily available almost everywhere online. <laughs> يناديكم ويستغيث بكم أيها الإخوة لتنقذوه من محلته ومن ابتلي به فما لا يخيفنا However, recent documents emerged seriously question such portrayal. Just days before his death, deposed Yemeni dictator Ali Abdullah Saleh published a historical letter from King Faisal to the then US President Lyndon Johnson revealing the Saudi regime's possible collusion with Israel prior to the Six-Day War, also known as the June War, fought from the 5th to the 10th of June 1967 between Israel and the neighbouring states of Egypt, Jordan and Syria. The Arab side failed to defeat Israel. In his letter, King Faisal describes Egypt under the presidency of iconic Arab figure Gamal Abdel Nasser Hussein as a danger to the interests of both Saudi Arabia and the United States, stressing the need for the US to support Israel to carry out a swift operation against the Muslim country by which it would control the Sinai Peninsula, a vital area in the country. The Saudi king also suggested the immediate seizure of the Gaza Strip by Israeli occupiers, which was at the time under the control of Egypt. For decades, the Saudi regime has posed as a big brother for the Muslim world 
claiming to support the Palestinian cause and to force the end of the Palestinian plight. Faisal's letter unmasks the two faces of Saudi Arabia as he also proposes Jordan's control of the West Bank in order for the Palestinians to lose hope of controlling any land. In his seven-page letter, Faisal asserts Saudi financial support of Iraqi Kurd rebels under Mullah Mustafa Barzani's leadership in a bid to establish a Kurdish government north of Iraq. The Saudis' diplomatic push in favour of Palestine's occupiers is not just restricted to the era of King Faisal or King Salman. One could argue that the new wave of Saudi Arabia's diplomatic manoeuvres in favour of Israel started during the kingship of Abdullah. Upon his death and Salman's rule, Saudis are less hesitant to expose the ever-growing bilateral relationship with Israel. Statements and diplomatic manoeuvres by Saudi Arabia are increasingly aligned with the idea of the establishment of Greater Israel, manoeuvres that reached a peak after Trump's unilateral decision to recognise Jerusalem so as the capital of Israel. Israel's capital. But when it comes to public opinion across the Muslim world, Saudis seem to be walking on thin ice. For many across the Muslim world, the budding friendship proves to be vastly unpopular and it seems that the regime is ticking all the boxes of a fatal mistake. 